sorry I did not post last week, but I was kind of busy. So, to get back on track with the videos. Am I even recording? Apparently I am. So, like I said, to get back on track, today we are making Jimente. I think I pronounced that right. Yeah, I did. And this was suggested by BHJ Films. And to make her, this is going to be a complicated statue, just to let you guys know. But to make her, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need purple wool, blue terracotta, white terracotta, smooth sandstone. Or I can just use normal sandstone. I just think smooth looks better. Lime wool, green wool, yellow terracotta, white wool, and light gray wool. And these are what you're going to need just to start off. And later on, you're going to need your orange wool, orange terracotta, and red terracotta. So to start off with the statue, what you want to do is you want to place one, two, three purple. And then do two blue, then three purple. And do this same thing for the next row, so... Like that. For the next row, you want to do one purple, one white, one light gray, two blue, one light gray, one white, one purple. For the next row, you want to do one purple, Actually, do three purple, two blue, and three purple. I don't like calling those blue because, well, there's no blue wool on the statue. If there was, then I would not be calling it blue. I'd be saying blue terracotta. Just to let you guys know. For the next row, you want to do one purple, two white, two blue, two white, one purple. For the next row, do three white, two light gray, and three white. Sorry about the misplacement of the block. You want to do three white. So, I kind of was uh, misspoken. What you want to do is get rid of your yellow terracotta and grab out your orange wool and get rid of your white wool and get out your orange terracotta. And on that note, we can continue the statue. So what you want to do is you want to do... Um, actually, forget about it. You kind of... You don't need the sandstone. I think she'll look better without it. So you can just put in either, put back in your white and just forget about the sandstone. So what you want to do is you want to do two white terracotta, one orange, two white, well, okay, I wonder, what would be a good color choice for this? No, that would look weird. Yeah, I think I'll just keep it like that. That doesn't look bad. For the next row, you want to do one white terracotta, one orange, and about six white terracotta. For the next row, do one orange terracotta, one orange and the rest is just white terracotta for the next row and she has a little darker shade in between her legs and I think that's only for the like the separation I just don't know how I would 
put that down. And she does have a lot of detail. And I'll probably be cutting a lot of it out. You want to put in all the detail, you can grab out your, um, let's see here. Yeah, the other details they don't have the color for. And then you want to do one orange terracotta for the next row, and then one orange, uh, one dark green, and then the rest, actually no. Do two white terracotta, then one green, and one lime. For the next row, do one green, two orange, two lime, one green, one lime, and then one green. For the next row, do one orange terracotta, one orange wool, one orange terracotta, two lime, one green, one lime, one green. And once you're done with this row, this is the end of the legs. That's what your legs should look like once you are done. For the next row, this is the first row of the torso, and I'm going to mark it off because it would be easier to keep track of it. For the next row, you want to do one orange, one orange terracotta, one orange. And speaking of which, this one right here should be a dark orange. Like that. Now I know I just called it dark orange. Then do two lime, one green, one lime, one green. And what you want to do is come to either side, keeping track of this one row, and you're going to go out one, two, three, four with your white terracotta. So one, two, three, four. For the next row, do one orange, one orange wool, one orange, two lime, one green, one lime, one green. For the next row, do one orange terracotta, one orange, um, one white, two light gray, one white, and two light gray. For the next row, do one orange. I don't know. One orange wool, one orange terracotta. I don't know why I keep on switching up these two. Sorry about that. If you keep on losing track of what I mean. Then one lime, one green, two lime, one green. For the next row, do uh, basically just do the same what you did on the last row. So, yeah, that's basically what you want to do. For the next row, do one green, one orange, one orange terracotta, one lime, one green, two lime, one green. And what you want to do is get rid of your white and grab back out your yellow terracotta. For the next row, you want to do one orange, one orange wool, one orange terracotta, one lime, one yellow, and two lime, and one green. For the next row, do one orange terracotta, one orange, one orange terracotta, one lime, one green, two lime, one green. Actually, no. This block wants to be a light gray. Like that. Yeah. 
for the next row, you want to do one orange terracotta, one orange, two blue, one yellow, two blue, and then another blue. So three blue in total. For the next row, you want to do one orange, one orange wool, one orange terracotta, two blue, two purple, one blue. For the next row, do um, one orange terracotta, one orange wool, one orange, then you need to grab back out your white, so get rid of your white terracotta. And do one light gray, one white, two purple, one blue. And like I said, this is going to be a lot of swapping colors, so sorry about that. But this is a very, very detailed statue. So once you did that row, you want to take out get rid of your white again and replace it with your white terracotta for the next row do one orange terracotta one orange one orange terracotta two white terracotta and on that note actually get rid of your yellow terracotta and replace it with your white wool do one white wool and two blue terracotta and once you're done, this is what your statue should look like so far. Now, it's time to move on to the arms. So what you want to do is start on either side. Both sides are... No, wait, they are not exactly the same. They're a tad bit different. At the top, it, it gets a little different. Other than that, they're exactly the same. Oh... In reality, you guys should never go ahead, unless I do say that the arms are exactly the same. But in this case, they are not. So, on that note, let's kind of get started on building this. So, on, um, let's see here, which arm am I on? I'm on the left. So come over to the left, and place on top of the four white terracotta that you already did, place another four white terracotta. Then do one white wool, three light gray. We're going to be going from left to right. So starting from here and going to here. Then for the next... Um, we can just say four rows. Just do four solid rows of lime. So one, two, three, four. For the next row, do two white wool, two light gray. For the next row, just do a solid row of blue. For the next row, do two purple, two blue. For the next row, do two purple, two blue. Again, basically the same. And for the last final row, just do a solid row of purple. Once you're done, that's what your arm should look like. Now, it's time to move on to the other side. And you want to do, on top of this, just do a solid row of white terracotta. And we're going to be going from right to left. So starting from here and going to here. Then you want to do two light gray, two white. For the next four rows, just do four solid ro ro rows of lime wall. So one, two, three, four. For the next row, do one light gray, three white. And for the next row, do a solid row of blue. For the next row, do one blue actually do this for two so yeah and then you want to do three purple for the next row you just want to do a solid row of blue 
And as you can see, that's the only difference. And I think she's wearing a hood, but I'm not 100% sure. And that's what your, that's what the front of your statue wants to look like once you are done. Now, it is time to move on to the back. And luckily, there are many swapping colors on the back. That's, that's luck. For, so once you come to the back, you want to just expand it out by one, two, three. And one, two, three on both sides. Then connect it here at the bottom like that. Then what you want to do is on top of this, you want to go until you're right here. So how many rows would that be? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that is four. So yeah, just do four solid rows of purple wool. So that's three and that's four. But I uh, kind of messed up. You want to break these two middle blocks and replace them with your purple terracotta, like that. For the next row, you want to do three white, two light gray, three white. For the next two rows, you just want to do two solid rows of white terracotta. For the next row, you want to do one terracotta. Well, one white terracotta, one lime, one green, two white terracotta, one green, one lime, one white terracotta. For the next row, do uh, two lime, one green, two lime, one green, two lime. For the next row, do one green, one lime, one green, two lime, one green, one lime, one green. And I stand corrected, this sh right here should be a dark green. So it should look like that. For the next row, do um, There should be two rows left, right? Huh. There's only one. No way I am doing it right. Never mind. You're gonna do, basically just do what you just did on the last row. So, one green, one lime, one green, two lime, one, one green, one lime, one green. And sorry I went a little fast there. The only reason was because it's literally just copying what you just had on this row. So, yeah. For the next row, do um, do you to know what I always hate about trying to copy statues off the internet? I keep on looking at this. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to finish her arms because she's missing two blocks on both sides of her arms. It's just floating sides, and you have to try and guess what is on the other side, and and you don't know. You don't you don't know what's on that other side, which is what sucks about doing that. But back to the actual statue. What you want to do is basically just do the same exact thing you just did for two rows. So basically like this her back does not have any detail whatsoever i think sorry about that um sorry about the little pause i want to try and find
Okay, Jim and Tim, my guess. Sorry about the. Hold up. Yeah, what's this one? Okay, now I can actually see the arms. So then, you want to place your four white terracotta right down here, just to keep track of where the arms are, even though you already can see them. And I actually have the actual statue pulled up so I can see what I'm missing on the arms. So, yeah. Uh, great. Sorry about the wait, guys. Gotta do that. For the next row, you want to do... Wow, this is a lot of light gray. You want to do just a solid row of light gray. For the next row, you want to do one green, six lime, one green. And basically do that, do the same thing for this row, so, yep, like that. For the next row, you want to do one green, one lime, four white, one lime, uh, two lime. No, okay. I said four white, and I only placed three white. Whoops. And one green. For the next row, do... Two white, three blue, two white, and once you have that, that is the row done. For the next row, you want to do one blue, two purple, two blue, two purple, one blue. For the next row, do one purple. Six purple and one blue. Sorry if I said sorry about the purple, but I mean a blue. If you guys did mess that up. For the next row, you want to do three blue on both sides, then two purple. For the next row, you want to do one blue, six purple, one blue. And for the next row, just do a solid row of blue. Once you're done, that's what the back should look like. And now, it is time to move on to the arms. So for the arms, it's literally... Um, just copying this arm. Except for if you actually want to have it correct. Yeah, we won't fix it. I think it's fine the way it is. You literally just want to copy what you have on this arm. So, four white terracotta. Except for the only difference is... Yeah, basically just copy what you have on this arm. That's how we're going to improvise. So... Uh, let me just do that. Actually, maybe not. Let me see how this would look. Hmm. 
Not bad. I think we'll keep it like that. Sorry about that. But that's what it should look like. And if you did not notice what I did, instead of actually copying, what I did was I copied up until here. And then I filled this all in with uh, blue terracotta. And then I basically just made an L out of the purple. So for the other arm, basically just, well, Just, just copy what you have on the other arm, but just a little bit different. It ain't much different. But you kind of get what I mean. We'll do that because it looks better. And then once you reach the top, you want to do four blue terracotta and then just fill the rest of it in with purple. Until you reach the top. And that's what the back should look like once you are done. And now it is time to move on to the sides. So basically what you want to So basically what you want to do is Okay. I'll just show you guys. So you want to do about four solid rows of purple so one two three four two white two white terracotta well <laughs> not two white ter terracotta just three solid rows of white terracotta then two solid rows of lime make that three fill the bottom of her hands in with your white terracotta and once you reach the arms it is basically just match the colors so yeah so, let's just do this, this. and then once you reach the top just come in by three on the arms like that And that is what one of your sides should look like. And I think both sides are the same. Let me check here. Yeah. Both sides are the same. So basically just do what you just did on the other side. All you have to do is just look over and just copy what you just did. So on that note. I will vanish. Poof. Oh, and, um, speaking of which, what is the next statue you guys would want me to make? Because why I didn't post one last week was because, like I said, I'm not getting a lot of suggestions in about statues. So, if you want to see more videos, just comment down below. So once you have done that, it's time to move on to the head. And what you want to do is, let's say this. Uh, get rid of your... Yeah, just get rid of your light gray wool and replace it with red terracotta. So what you want to do is... Come out by, um, that is the weirdest chin you could ever have. <laughs> hey, I have a puppet chin, buddy. Um, but it kind of makes sense. But, back to the actual statue again. Sorry about that, that I keep on getting off track. What you want to do is for the thing, she is wearing a hood, I'm pretty sure. You want to place one orange, and then six white terracotta and one orange. And literally just bring this out by two. 
so one and there's two basically leaving something that looks like this for the next row you want to do one red terracotta one white um, one green two white terracotta one green one lime and one red for the next row do one red one white one lime two white terracotta one lime one white one red for the next row do one orange two red two white two red one orange for the next row do one orange one orange terracotta um four white terracotta that is one orange terracotta and one orange for the next three rows do two orange ter two orange wool one orange terracotta two orange one orange bleh. I, I can't speak. One orange terracotta and two orange. Like I said, for the next three rows. And it will look better once we add on the little 3D effects. Just to let you guys know. Right now, it literally just looks like she's wearing a football helmet. Or a bike helmet. She's riding a bike. Even though we all know that's her hair. It still looks like she's riding a bike. For the next, not for the next row, but once you're done, just come over to the sides, and what you want to do is, on top of this orange, you're going to stack this up until it reaches the top, and then place, actually just make this go all the way to the top like that. It would look weird. Then... For the next row, we're, we're going from this side. You want to do two white terracotta, then two orange. Actually, do this two orange terracotta, then three white wool. And all you want to do is you want to come over here and do the exact same thing. So... Literally just copy what you have on the other side. Like that. Then, we're, we're only going to build this from going to the side because there's detail. And it's better to do it this way. Then what you want to do is you want to do... Um, Four white wool going up. So four and then four purple. Then you want to do three blue, five purple. For the next row, do uh, this one's hard to explain. Go up until you're, like, right about here. And then do two purple. Then, you're going to do two blue and the rest purple for these next two rows. And then after that, I actually want to have three rows. So, like I said, she is wearing a hood. Yeah. Then once you have that, just come over here and do the exact same thing on the other side. 
Sorry, it, it was it was just really hard to explain. It's like she's wearing a hat. But if you're floating in the air, you don't know how many blocks to place. So. That one's to be broken. That one's to be broken. That one's to be broken. Yep, I fell. And... And for the back, literally what you want to do is just fill the bottom in with your purple, with your blue, and then just come down here and just fill it all in with your blue terracotta. And like I said, just do this for two solid rows. So it should look like that. Then you want to do one purple, one blue, two purple, one blue, one purple. And basically just do that until you reach the top, so. Make it easy, I'm just going to do this. Oh, you know, this makes it two times easier. And then the head, I think it's just falling along with this pattern. Like, like the top. Let me just see here. No. Never mind. So then, you want to come over to the top. Not over, but to the top. You get what I mean. And you want to grab out your blue again. And do two blue. Coming out from where you place these. Then, four do about six blue coming out and it should look like that then in the middle you want to place two blue then do another six blue like that then do two blue here uh, and then do three, actually do four white. And, and this one is hard to explain, so I'm just going to finish it and show you guys once I'm done. So that's what the top should look like once you are done. Now, it's time to add on the 3D details. And these are always fun. I can tell you that much. Are there seriously any 3D details on the hair or not? No, the only 3D detail is like poofing out the skirt and... I think what will look good is bringing this out. Because it just distinguishes it from the rest of the build. Almost like that. And kind of once you've done that, if you want to do that... Yeah, because she has no... Like, front details.
I could add something. Honestly, you could just keep it like it is. Or even something like that wouldn't look bad. But... I'll just keep it like it is. You guys can try and add on a little 3D element for her hair if you want to. But on that note, you, once you have something, let me just do the little 360. Uh, ah. This is what your statue should look like once you are 100% fully complete. And on that note, I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a good day. Goodbye.